Guess what I got? What is that, Danny? Why, this is the Flipmino HD. So now it's HD? It's now in HD. Yeah, it's wow. full, full HD, yeah. It's a big picture in a little package. It's huh? a very small package, yeah. Essentially the same hardware, but it just takes video and high definition. Oh. oh. Whoa, what do you, what just made a oh, noise there? What, this is the Kodak Z6. Wow, uh, Z6, ZI6. ZI6. ZI6, right. Now. The I is silent, Dan. <laughs> I see. Well, it's... why do you have that? Uh, well, I have why it because... Are you trying, why are you trying to mess up my Flip Minnow HD part Okay, here? well, here's the deal. I like this comparison because basically these are two camcorders, both kind of the same market. They're yeah. all going to be approximately $100 to $200 range, and it just seemed like, you know, let's see how they, right. how they stack up, basically. These are, these are basically cameras that are made for or recording videos relatively quickly and then uploading them to the internet. The quality when we compared it to the first generation Flip was... It was remarkable. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, the colors were really clear. Um, whoa, whoa, this guy, but this guy has something to say about that. Yeah, he sure does. Which is essentially, we, when, we, we, when we shot side-by-side -side footage with this one... And uh, the, the Flip versus the Kodak, the HD, the two HD cameras, it was, it was incredible. It was shocking. Yeah, yeah, I was shocked and slightly appalled. Yeah, a little... Uh, and a little aroused. A little odd. Okay, well, the picture is much better on this one, mm -hmm. but is this one... You, it has to be more expensive, right? It is $50 cheaper than that one. Wow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you're just you're over it. I'm done. I'm not even gonna touch. It. I'm washing my hands of that. So basically, and you're paying. You know, you're paying for the flip, the new Minnow HD. You're paying for a picture that isn't quite as good as what Kodak's already has on the market for fifty dollars cheaper. Right. All you're basically paying for is a smaller, more polished package. Right. Which I don't know. I mean, is it worth it? I do like them a little smaller. You know. Yeah. I like, I like to be able to toss them around, mm -hmm. and and such, and you know. You like them. to toss your two hundred and thirty dollar like camera. Love. Too. How much memory does that guy have? Four gigabytes of total memory. And you're really stoked on that? I'm, no. You're I'm not, not stoked I'm not on stoked. That. No, no, no. Why would I be stoked on on limited memory? I know. And that's upgradable to what, 32? It's gigabytes? upgradable to 32. That's ridiculous. I'm going to give this one a solid eight balls out of ten. And I think this would probably fall into the six balls out of ten category. Yeah. So. I concur. Yeah. To read uh, more about these uh, delicious cameras, uh, go to wire.com slash reviews and you can read the full on review of the Flipmino HD as well as the Kodak ZI6? Yeah. Yeah. Can I, can, do you want to trade? Here's a nifty little stocking stuffer for the iPhone lover in your life. This is a uh, Griffin's Clarify case. And you know, like most iPhone users, I am constantly searching for the perfect case to protect my delicate, uh, beloved, little precious uh, phone object. The Clarify case is a, is a case that actually does something different. It improves the camera quality on the iPhone. And the way it does that is it's got a tiny little plastic lens here. And it's sort of a cheap lens, it's not a big deal, but what it does is it makes the close-up photos on the iPhone a lot sharper. In fact, these might be the sharpest photos you'll ever take with your iPhone. And that's really handy if you use uh, the phone for close-up work to take um, pictures of, say, business cards or books that you're taking notes of, or anything that you might want to get closer to than about 18 inches. If you want to take pictures of your friends or of landscapes or something, you just slide it out of the way. This works really well with an application called Evernote which lets you take notes by basically just snapping pictures of things. It does optical character recognition, OCR, on any text that it finds in the picture so that you can then search on that later. It's really handy if you're a researcher or a journalist like I am, or if you just want to, you know, take pictures of wine labels as you drink the, uh, the bottle of wine. The best thing about Griffin's uh, Clarify case is that it's just about $20 retail. So, if you know somebody with an iPhone, this is a really good choice for a little holiday present.